Pine. So these guys are seeing, and I see it more now as a supervisor because I'm I'm looking on and I'm trying now to protect the mental health and just the overall health of my guys. Yeah. These these young guys, man, and and I'm seeing what they're seeing that I've already seen a million times, but now I'm I'm seeing more of it. These guys will do 12 hours and they'll see absolutely horrific things. And that's going to vary based on the size of the agency and what's going on. But at least our agency, we're, we're busy. And then they take a seven minute drive home and they're expected to be a father a hu- or, or a husband, a soccer coach. Maybe they're a pastor. Maybe they're whatever, a jujitsu coach. That has you know, always blown my mind, man, that you literally can be. And I've heard, you know, I've got a lot of law enforcement friends now and since getting out and I've heard stories like you're involved in a shooting you get done with that shooting you write your paper and you go home three miles down the road sure so from literally just an hour ago you either shot somebody or you cleaned up a mess or essentially that yeah. something happened and then now you're holding your your infant newborn in your yeah. living room so I mean a perfect example of that is you know last call of the shift or any point during that day um you go to an unresponsive child happens all the time and you're working that kid along with the medical services and you watch a three-year-old child die in front of you 10 minutes later you drive home and it's daddy 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 your kids are running up to you that's not normal no there's no there's no processing no there's no and i always tell my guys this you know shit to shine in seven minutes right right you're in the middle of some shit and then you're expected shine when you get home, clean up, you're good to go. It's a seven minute drive. It's seven miles from my agency to my house. Seven miles. And, and you know what? It's it's not your family's fault. No, it's they not. No. They didn't sign up for that. No. That's the They're big thing. They're expecting you to be you when you walk through the door. Sure. Yeah. They're not expected you to come in and be, you know, pays a non issue at this point. We could argue that to blue in the face, but hey man, we're signing up to do it do it you there's, know what i mean yeah let's be real you're but, serving yeah yeah you you're, there's you did not you did not become a cop no, to become rich no no way yeah so but there's some things that come with that that you have to learn and that i'm learning now after 10 years and some when you and i first met some of the conversations we sit down we sat down and had yeah is i'm learning now that you can't just catalog that shit it's gonna, it's that reel is gonna play back. That movie's gonna play one day. Oh, did, right. All that shit you're collecting, yeah. you're gonna have to put it somewhere. Sure. Yeah. So the problem is, is when you come home and there's no outlet for it, and yeah. now it gets cast out on family members, friends, relationships. Now is when you start to see seclusion. You start yeah. to see guys pull back into just themselves. <laughs>